Pokemon has always promoted the ideas of friendship, determination, and fighting for the side of good. But not everything is sunshine and rainbows in this world. Today, we're talking about Pokemon whose backstories aren't triumphant, but rather tragic. Not every Pokemon lives a carefree life fighting alongside friends. Some travel a much lonelier path, and these are the Pokemon who exist in perpetual suffering. They've undergone tragedies that make any trainer feel sympathetic. I'm Kyle with Pokebench, and this is Tragic Pokemon Backstories, Sad to Heartbreaking. Now, real quick for clarification, we're not talking about backstories of what happened to specific singular Pokemon, but instead this is a collection of specific species of Pokemon that lead heartbreaking existences, and we'll be looking at mainline game plots and Pokedex entries. First off, we have the punching bags of the Pokemon universe, Pokemon that deal with trouble a little more than they deserve. These Pokemon are the unfortunate. We're going to start out with a Pokemon that is often a punchline, but also leads a pretty sad existence. We're talking about Psyduck, a Pokemon cursed with constant headaches, which is just ouch. Psyduck's headaches are so intense that it manifests psychic energy, and Psyduck isn't even a psychic type. These headaches are so bad, Psyduck is often unable to do anything, not even think clearly. As a Psyduck, your entire existence is that of constant headaches, so you're never truly comfortable. The only way to address this problem problem of headaches is to release psychic energy in the form of attacks, so there is no peace for this species. The only way to reduce this constant pain is to do battle with other Pokemon, launching off attacks made up of your manifested aching head. The Pokedex is unsure if they even have control of these attacks. Not only is Psyduck in constant pain, but they don't even have control of their only relief. This is sad, but more unfortunate than anything else. Fortunately, Golduck doesn't seem to have the same headache problem as they evolved so at least there is one way out. Moving on to Corsola. At first glance, they seem to have a peaceful life. Corsola live in warm waters and gather harmoniously alongside other Corsola. However, they are constantly antagonized by other Pokemon, humans, and the environment. Marini and Toxapex prey on Corsola, feasting on their tasty stalks. If lucky, a Corsola can get away by breaking off this part of them. Humans also pose a direct threat to Corsola as their horns are harvested as a beautiful treasure. What is even sadder than Corsola constantly dodging predators is that in some parts of the world, they were fully wiped out. This is referring to the Gala region. Regular Corsola could not survive there due to their sensitivity to pollution. The only thing left of these Corsola is their Galarian form. The ghost-type souls of extinct Corsola are doomed to float Galarian waters. If an unlucky traveler accidentally steps on Galarian Corsola, thinking it's a rock, it fights back. Galarian Corsola absorb the souls and place curses on those who disrupt it. They can continue draining souls until they burst out of their ectoplasmic shell to become Corsola, a fate far different than the peaceful life Corsolas once lived. Parasect, at first glance, does not seem different from any other elemental bug. After understanding the glazed over look in their eyes, it becomes apparent what terrible fate has overtaken it. Parasect was once a simple Paris, a grass-type bug Pokemon with its mushrooms living alongside the bug body. After evolving, however, something goes terribly wrong for the bug. The mushroom it lived alongside took over its host and gained full control of the whole body. The mushroom drains the insect body of nutrients in order to pass on more spore to future Paris. All we know about the fate of Parasect is that it no longer controls itself. There is no interpretation of this that is not tragic. There's no saving the poor insect, as if you try to remove the mushroom parasite, the bug body remains immobile. One can hope that the insect part of Parasect is not aware or in pain while the mushroom grows. Our next category includes Pokemon that are colored by tragedy. These are Pokemon with particularly emotional backgrounds, Pokemon who suffer a deeply heartbreaking fate, but aren't necessarily defined by it. This category is the tragic. First up in the tragic category, we have perhaps the most misunderstood Pokemon that is Absol, also known as the Disaster Pokemon. Absol is often blamed for great tragedies as they happen. This is the result of a tragic misinterpretation. When humans see Absol and disaster strikes, it's easy to assume that Absol themselves created this disaster. It's not hard to imagine that these horned dark types could bring about evil forces, but in reality, the Absol want nothing more than to protect the humans and other Pokemon. They're gifted with the ability to predict disasters with their horn. 
In an act of kindness and mercy, the Absol try to warn the others of danger, only to be ostracized for it. What's so tragic about this is that Absol could easily run from disaster in order to protect themselves. Instead, when they act out of kindness, trying to warn others, they're blamed for that tragedy. Absol live for over a hundred years. This hurtful cycle of misplaced hatred can happen several times in their lives as they try to help. Truly a sad fate to want to save others, but instead being demonized. Type Null is up next on our list. Type Null was an experiment by the Aether Foundation to be a defense against the threat of Ultra Beasts attacking the Alola region. This is tragic in itself, a creature created to fight off terrifying interdimensional beings. Only the problem was that Type Null was so powerful and untamable, the Aether Foundation gave up on the project altogether. Its helmet is affixed to its head, reducing its powers. The Aether Foundation found their experiment to be a failure and named it as such. Null. Nothing. Zero. Tragic. On the bright side, once Type Null finds a trainer and forms a strong bond, they can evolve. When they feel comfortable, they can break free of the mask mask meant to pacify them and turn into the powerful Silvali. Silvali is a fiercely loyal and powerful Pokemon once it becomes comfortable with their trainer. This makes Type Null that much more heartbreaking. It just needed to be friends with the people who created it. Because it was not comfortable with the Aether Foundation, it was written off as a dangerous failure, when all it needed was a friend. Rounding out this section, our last man-made Pokemon on this list faces a similar sad backstory. In the games, Mewtwo was born as the result of a Mew embryo, and horrific gene splicing from the hands of a scientist. This is a Pokemon endowed with incredible psychic powers, and a truly merciless heart. Mewtwo is one of the most powerful, smartest Pokemon to exist. Within the games, Mewtwo's only existence is that of a savage weapon of mass destruction. The Pokedex goes on to explain that Mewtwo is incapable of compassion or mercy. This is tragic because there was no fate for Mewtwo other than ruthless battle. This is all it could know. After escaping its cruel creator, it sits quietly alone in a hidden cave. Mewtwo conserves its energy to unleash it all in battle. This is a Pokemon that knows no mercy, no love, only fighting. Our final category is the heartbreaking. These are Pokemon that are defined by their suffering with the saddest stories of all. The first heartbreaking backstory is the Pokemon Yamask. Yamask is the first Pokemon on this list to come from human souls specifically. They wander the ruins of ancient civilizations mourning their past life. The Pokedex states, the mask Yamask carries is actually the face of their former human selves. They have been observed to look at this mask and cry, mourning their past lives. They carry around a constant reminder of everything they've lost, a confused, twisted version of themselves obsessed with finding those who knew them in the past life, a task that they will never complete. There have been doomed Pokemon on this list, but this is the first human to spend the rest of their existence in a confused state of being a ghost Pokemon. Moving on to Kadabra's tragic story. A boy with intense psychic powers woke up one morning as Kadabra. The tragedy here is the fate of an innocent boy. Perhaps the gift of strong telekinetic powers was actually a curse. This kid did nothing wrong to deserve to have his humanity revoked. Kadabra himself does not seem to be suffering, but he continues to warp reality around in ways it may not want. It's sad to think that one day you're a regular person with a gift and a bright future ahead of you, but in an instant, everything you had was gone. A very cruel twist of fate, leaving you to be a strong psychic power capable of warping reality around you. Our next heartbreaking story is the origin of Frostlass. Frostlass is based off of a story of a Japanese yokai named the Yukiona. This ice spirit lives in the frigid mountains preying on the souls of weary travelers. Frostlass parallels this story. It is said to be the result of a woman who froze to death alone in snowy mountains. What hurts more is this unfortunate traveler is not left to rest. These human women are said to become Frostlass, doomed to wander the mountains where they spent their last painful moments, passing the time by feeding on the souls of traveling men and arranging them to their liking. Next up is not the result of humans becoming Pokemon, but is a deeply emotional fate, which earns it the bronze medal of heartbreak as it's easy to sympathize with this poor Pokemon. Mimikyu, the decoy Pokemon, has one deep desire above all else, just to be loved. Everybody wants to be adored at some level, at the very least accepted. 
Mimikyu wants this more than anything else, if only their true form would allow it. Mimikyu is said to be an unimaginable abomination underneath its costume, despite its desire to be accepted. Pokemon and humans each flee at the sight of Mimikyu's true form at first glance. Mimikyu, as an act of desperation, puts together a ragged costume of something that is beloved, the universally loved Pikachu. By wearing this rag, it seeks to not scare everyone away, only everyone finds the costume too creepy to actually get to know what Mimikyu is like. While Mimikyu is tolerated with its costume, it is tragic to think Mimikyu have to hide their true forms from everyone to even be approached. So conscious of its own appearance, it grows violent if anybody tries to look under its rack. When its costume is broken, it stands in front of a mirror all day trying to fix it, crying because of the difficulty. Moving on to our silver medal of heartbreak. This tragic Pokemon is our last human spirit Pokemon and the saddest of them, Phantom. At first glance, they seem like any other ghost Pokemon. In reality, Phantump is the result of children who died after being lost in the forest. This Pokemon is deeply heartbreaking knowing they're the souls of innocent lost kids. This fate as a Phantump is a lonely one. They seldom leave the abandoned forest they died within. As travelers pass through their woods, they try to call out to others by imitating the voice of a child. All they want to do is make friends. What ends up happening instead is the travelers get hopelessly lost. New lost souls in the abandoned forest are likely to suffer the same fate of the phantom. What sets this apart is the continued cycle of being lost, afraid, and vulnerable. Children who walk a bit too far into a lost forest become a part of it, doomed to cause others to follow. Finally, the most heartbreaking Pokemon has been a part of the series since the beginning. Cubone takes the gold medal of most heartbreaking Pokemon. Sure, other Pokemon suffer terrible fates, and many face constant suffering, but there are no other Pokemon that embody loss greater than Cubone. While other Pokemon backstories stem from legend, the Pokedex spares no details on the lonely Pokemon Cubone. Cubone wears the remains of their dead mother on their head. That iconic skull is their mother's. No one has seen a Cubone's real face. This Pokemon spends its days mourning the loss of their parent, crying mournfully with no one to keep them company, except the hollow rattle of their mother's skull. The full moon reminds Cubone of their deceased mom, and are once again plunged into sadness. Each Cubone wears the skull of their mother as a constant reminder of what they've lost. While other Pokemon are the result of terrible luck, or suffer from evil human actions. Every step of Cubone's life is steeped in sadness. And that concludes our list of tragic Pokemon backstories. Which one do you think was the saddest? Let us know in the comments section below. And make sure to hit that notification bell and binge our other Pokemon videos. Thanks for watching.